Tifu called out ex-teammates and maybe ex-friends now, Tom, 72 hours in cloak, saying he will never play with them again. You probably heard, but there is way more to this. People are saying Tifu is not only completely wrong on this, but always plays the victim and blames other people for everything. Does that sound like Tifu to you? Wait till you hear the truth from 72 hours in cloak on this one. And on top of that, an insane new skin set coming soon called Dark Skins. You'll get a first look at them and they are fire. Not going to lie. Plus tons of Fortnite news accounts getting banned and suspended by hackers. And Keemstar is trying to save them. It has been a while. Wild guys, but I'm your second favorite PE teacher, Denver, and I missed you guys so much. No, I did not die, but I did have strep for like a week, and I didn't even know it. That was fun, but thanks for caring so much. You guys need to follow me on Twitter at the Denver Guy YT so you know what is up. Keep using that same code that Denver Guy YT in the item shop, but for real, I am honored, guys, that you would even notice that I wasn't uploading. So that just tells me you're enjoying my videos. I'll keep trying to make them the best I can. But let's check out the dark skin set real quick and then get to why Tifu seems to be. How do we put this nicely? Completely wrong on this. And don't get me wrong, I love Tifu, but you'll see it when you hear it. Now these dark skins at Rift FNBR posted this one saying the Dark Legends pack has been decrypted. We might see it in the store soon. What do you think of these? Is this a cop it or is this a drop it? Just want to say that shield is nuts. You guys know I love my shield back blings, but get ready to see these soon. Maybe even tonight. Let's hope for it. A first look at what they will look like in game brought to you by Hype. X, fantastic leaker, and also one of the many leaker accounts that got suspended on Twitter by hackers that we'll talk about in a second too. Check these out. So are you buying or are you passing on this skin set? Maybe you like just a single piece from it like I do. Let me know in the comments below. But let's get to Tifu. Then we'll check out how the hackers abused a system to suspend accounts of so many leakers. Can this happen to you? Now, Tifu, as you guys know, he got really upset. You might have seen the video. Here's the super short version so you can see what went wrong. Check it out. Madden offered me over $140,000 to play their game. And I declined because I thought that we were going to play the tournament this weekend and they took the offer without telling me last second so now i'm out 100 over one hundred forty thousand dollars because i thought we were going to practice and now i'm here like so if they want to pay me the money that i lost then i'm down but other than that i don't really for them <sighs> You know who your real friends are, I guess. So Tifu said he didn't accept the $140,000 offer, but said Tommy Cloaksy did without telling him. And then they skipped out on the trio's tourney, leaving Tifu behind in the dust. I guess sounds terrible, like they were just chasing money and ditched Tifu without telling him. But is that what actually happened? Here's the truth. Cloaksy and Tom are standing up to Tifu. Finally, Cloaksy gets pretty mad here because he feels like they didn't do anything wrong and Tifu messed everything up himself. Listen to Cloaksy here. Why is the guy talking about you? Why are these kids land on me, talking land about on you me. costing the guy 140k? Oh, I, just got oh. I, I, I did not know box. about the brand deal box, and the fact that it was broke. I, I didn't. Him. I didn't nice, cost nice. him 150k. Blake, was I the one that was like, Blake, hey, Blake, you need to come up one. By the way, don't take this brand deal. I didn't even know about the brand deal. Second of all, what kind of idiot are you to decline 140K? I wish I got offered 140K. Uh, sayonara. Like, if you get offered that, you're an idiot for not accepting it. That's not my fault you didn't accept it. I'm like, what? But if you want to, if you want to, like, try, this is the second time, like, I don't want to bring drama. But like, I stuck my neck out for that dude in so many situations, and he tried like, he tried ruining my personal brand once by sneaking me and Tom for clicks and sway, and then like, doesn't need to bring this to light at all, and tries like, getting his fans to throw hate at me, and like, it's, it's so annoying. We're just gonna talk off stream about it, it's like, him being petty about this is stupid. Like, we're one of the best trios, 
He just needs to stop being petty. It's not my fault. He missed out on the 140k this deal. So that is a huge yikes. Cloaksy actually calls Tifu out saying he tried to ruin his brand. Like that's a big deal. That's not something a teammate or a friend would do. But luckily Cloak ends this with we just need to talk off stream. And that's exactly what should have happened. I mean, we all love the drama behind it. But for real, why call each other out in front of thousands instead of just talking to your friends? Now, Tom, aka 72 hours, aka one of the chillest dudes out there, even told his side and can't believe Tifu would take something like this so personally, like as it's an attack against him. Listen to him here before we get to the accounts getting banned and suspended. Check this out. Any validity to the Madden she was talking about? Well, here's my point of view, right? If he gets offered a bunch of money to play Madden, why wouldn't he come to us and be like, yo, I have this deal. Should I do it? And then we'd be like, oh, sure. That's a lot of money. Go for it, dude. And then we get offered the deal too. And we'd be like, oh, sweet. We'll just play trios. Like Dennis gets offered the deal, right? I don't know if he got it. I had no idea. This is totally incomplete for me. I have nothing to do with this. I get offered the deal. I go, oh, sweet. Let me ask Dennis if he's going to be here this weekend. Dennis goes, oh, I got a Madden deal. I go, okay, sweet. Do you want to do it? He goes, yes. I'm like, all right, then go tell Turner. He texts Turner after his stream's over because he doesn't want to bother him while he's on stream. And then that was that. I even was willing to cancel the deal, which is bad for relations with people, in order to go play the tournament if he was that upset over it. I don't know. So do you think at this point that Cloak and Tom did anything wrong? Like it seems like they didn't. They told Tifu they got the deal. They were even willing to cancel when they found out Tifu was upset. Plus, don't forget, they already qualified. They're already in. Tifu even said it was for practice, which is fine. It's important, of course, to get ready for the real trios tournament. But to call out your friends like that and people coming in their chat, just toxic and flaming them, and they didn't even do anything wrong? It just seems crazy to me. So I was curious what you guys thought. I'll be reading your comments below. FIFA Face 89 said the only reason this is playing out is because Tifu is childish and broadcast it to the world in a tweet. He just throws his toys out of his pram whenever he doesn't get his own way, in my opinion. He's an unbelievable player, but he has a victim mentality. Whenever he gets killed, it's somebody else's fault. Now he's playing the victim card again. And yet he didn't play yesterday when they did. Hypocrite. Ouch, do you guys agree with FIFA face here or is he going a little too strong here on Tifu? Maybe Tifu just didn't know all this yet and thought his friends were just ditching him, which most of us have felt, right? It hurts. So he was just saying what was on his mind, which is why people like Tifu in the first place. But Brad, 4334, 100% believe Tom and Cloak in this situation. Tom's explanation seems infinitely more believable than them going behind Tifu's back. And I don't get how people can side with Tifu on this. And Cedric saying, Tifu is literally the Antonio Brown a fortnight way too far cedric way too far if you guys don't follow football antonio brown just did basically anything he could to get kicked off the raiders because he didn't want to be on that team anymore see where this is going but this last comment i'll show you might explain why cedric would say that maybe tifu is looking for a way out i commented what tifu said yesterday on another post and it was obvious he was making it sound like he didn't do anything wrong i 100 knew it wasn't entirely true so we ended at that leave your opinion below does tifu just not want to be a part of this trio anymore or was this just a small problem that got blown up into a huge problem and the boys will solve the problem soon i hope so because they are a beast trio they're fun to watch of course if you're old enough it, it, obviously it's not family friendly but the fortnite hacks dudes what the heck happened to these hacks and these accounts on twitter accounts on twitter were getting banned or suspended left and right and keemstar actually had to come to the rescue he tweeted out there is a method to get people's twitter suspended but it only works on non-verified Twitters. They've been doing this for years. Last night they got Hypex. Today they got Dolan Dark. Someone at Twitter needs to fix this, but it was too late, I guess. Keem tweeted out, I just submitted over 10 Fortnite Twitters that were suspended to Twitter to restore. I guess I'm going to try to help everyone. If you've been suspended in, in the last 48, respond to this tweet with a suspended Twitter at and what happened. So 10 accounts hit. That's a lot of accounts just banned or suspended, apparently wrongfully. But then he tweeted this told them to unban and then this huge list of names all these fortnite news channels who got hit so can this happen to you apparently yes and me too until twitter gets this fixed why this is even a thing i do not know how it's possible to get this many accounts banned without stopping the people who are doing it keem did tweet out one last thing that gave some people a good laugh he said doesn't seem odd that whoever has taken all these fortnite twitters down seem to be going after fortnite news channels almost every fortnite news twitter got hit except Fortnite guy. Hmm. I do not trust that kid 
just saying. <laughs> and TFG just replied and said, this clown can't be serious. So there you go. Part two of the Keemstar versus TFG saga. Like and sub, guys. Uh, and it's so good to be back. Can't lie, that break was kind of nice. But anytime you take away like time from something, it's always harder to come back. And not going to lie, this video is actually kind of hard to make just because I didn't want to only focus on like all the negative drama and fights, like the Tifu thing. As interesting as it is, like it's cool. It's cool to see how people interact with each other. It really is. Are you guys like that too? Like impractical jokers, those kind of TV shows, how they can like talk to anyone. You get to see how the other person reacts to them. Like that is just so interesting to me does this make any sense <laughs> but a lot of what you guys call drama or that i just some people just say i just cover drama I, I i just think that's so wrong like i i like a good story and any good story has like highs and lows and the climax which is the most dramatic part of the story and then hopefully with tifu and tom and cloak we get a good ending i always like the happy endings but sheesh i'm done man i'm done rambling love you guys go make your day great and i will see you guys in the next video love denver